is going on guys nips here bringing you our team builder for week eight of the ucl folks we got a match up against leo and the durham jordan guys team is right over there we're rocking that clefable victini tarakian on blast toys crocodile shaman registeel jordan guys sigalifts gun tank leafy on zeb striker and mega blast toys so with that being said and done what i prepare for folks what i base my team off of I based it off of Clefable, Victini, Terrakion, Blastoise, Crocodile, and Shaman. Actually, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, forget that. I based it off of Mega Blastoise, Clefable, Victini, Terrakion, uh, Shaman, and... Uh, actually, I actually don't remember what I, what I really thought you were going to bring, but... You got a pretty good team, is what I'm trying to say right now. And it's very hard to build against you. And I try to make my team as diverse and weird as possible. And I did just that, I guess, with a, with two mons out of the six. I mean, right now you can see I got standard gouge, but there's a little interesting, uh, a little interesting thing on his um, on his spread. But uh, I'll get to that in a bit. But basically, Leo's team is really good. Uh, it's gonna be tough to get around. So let's see what I got going on right now. We got Dragalge, adaptability minus Dragalge, rocking the EVs of max special attack, 132 in speed. So get out speed uninvested Clefable by one point because Clefable has base eight, uh, has 80 speed uninvested. I gave myself 81, and I don't think I'm gonna bring any invested. So I'm pretty happy with the uh, with the result right now. I'm rocking a uh, 81 speed uh i mean uh yeah 81 speed dragalge sludge Wave does a lot of damage to it life or uh, like a little bit damage to you i think sludge will oko uh drink community is obvious focus blast for the crocodile if you bring it and the um register as well I can do over half to you and toxic spikes basically i know you guys are thinking he has clefable uh register and mega blast with a spin away and um who and uh, Siglips is immune to them and so and skuntank could suck him up I don't care about that at all. I just want your bulky mons like Mega Blast was poisons. I want Terrakion poison, maybe waste a Lumberry on you. And I want I just want Pokemon poisons. I know it doesn't work on Clefable because they're on, on Magic Guard. I know it's not affected by Regis Steel and and Sigalif and and Skunting sucks them up, but I just want the Toxic Spikes to go up so I can poison um whatever mon I want. I, I just want bulky Pokemon poisons. Not whatever mon I want to say, but I, any Pokemon that's bulky. Uh, I could I could poison them, and also I force you to go into Skun Tank earlier than you than you want, maybe. So like for example, I get Toxic Spikes up. You gotta bring bring Skun Tank in sooner rather than later, just because you want to get rid of those Toxic Spikes to protect your Blast Toys and your other Mons. So I feel like Toxic Spikes is a good idea for this week, and uh, I'm going for it. We're gonna see what happens. Then we have Tokatik. We got Roost, Defog, Dazzling Gleam, Heal Bell. You're basically a special wall, um, and uh. What we got going on right now? Your special wall, you put in the work for us, and essentially, uh, your objective is to get rid of glare paralysis from Drodagon if you bring that. Uh, register with poison, with toxic, um, maybe even Clefable with par uh, T Wave and toxic as well. Um, and I think so basically the clear, obviously, you defog rid of rocks from either your Clefable, Terrakion, uh, Drodagon. Does Jordan get rocks? I forgot. Maybe not. Uh, and Registeel has rocks as well. Uh, you can wall things like Special Shaman. You can wall pretty well. You can even wall um, Registeel if it comes down to. If you're alone, I can kill with Dazzling Gleam. I can, I can wall you with, um, with the, uh, the, uh, the Togetic. Uh, you take Buster's attacks kind of well. The Skull. The, I mean, the Ice Beam is the worst thing that we, you'll take. But we ain't going to do over half to you. So we're alright we're all right with that. I uh, don't think it's scary as a knockoff from Crocodile, but other than that, I think Togedix is a pretty good switch of wall. Don't want to bring Umbreon, because Umbreon gets bodied by um, Terrakion, gets bodied by Clefable, Crocodile with Superpower, uh, Shaman with Dazzling Gleam, uh, and like, I can't do much to make a Blast Toys. I don't want to give uh, Terrakion free Justify Boost, so I'm not going to bring Foul Player or anything like that. So Umbreon isn't that good this week. I feel like, I feel like Togedix is the better answer. Uh, I want I wanted to bring T Wave and. Sizing Toss instead of Dazzling and Heal Bell, but just in case, if I, if I need a Cleric, uh, I'm going to regret if I don't bring a Cleric, so I'm going to bring my Heal Bell for, uh, variant of uh, Togetic right now. And that's that. Swell is the same from last week. Uh, basically, I think this is the best Swell that I can have. Uh, quick Attack is obvious, Brave Bird is obvious, Facade's obvious, and so is U-Turn. Um, nothing really to say about Swell other than he could Oko Uninvested Skun Tank. He could obviously Oko Leafeon, he could Oko Shaman. Uh, so when you have a physical wall, he could hurl up the rest of the mons pretty damn well, and he's a big he's a big hitter. Without a doubt, we got Swellow the big friggin' hitter. 
Then, folks, my own little concoction right now. This is my baby this week. This is my baby this week, folks. We have hit pound on. Look at this moveset. Sub EQ, slack off, fire fang. Now, I mentioned the EVs already. Um, the EVs are something like this. You had like 24 points. I forgot what it was. You had some kind of amount in speed. Because I think 71 was enough to outspeed Registeel on Invested. So basically, I'm counting on you bringing Registeel. And uh, to wall things like Weavile and even Sawhawk. And I think Registeel is a pretty good mod in general against my team. So I feel like you're going to bring that. So I bring this Baba right now. I'm going to outspeed you by one point. I'm going to sub up on you. Now when the sub goes up, look at Leo's team. He does not like EQ other than like Shaman and Leafeon, hence why I have Fire Fang on there. But Nips, why don't you run Ice Fang? Because to be honest, EQ does more than Ice Fang to Dredagon. And that is the reason why I have Fire Fang over Ice Fang. And, it, uh, and I mean, obviously, uh, Ice Fang could do the same amount as Shaman and Leafeon. But I'm going to go with Fire Fang so I can cover the, uh, so I can cover the, um, Shaman, Registeel. But I would go EQ with that against that Leafeon and... Oh, I want Fire Fang over Ice Fang because Fire Fang has a chance to burn. And I'd rather burn than a freeze in this matchup. That's why I did that. Okay. So we got Sub EQ, Slack off Fire Fang. We get the Sub up and we go EQ, almost because of Tini. EQ, almost Oko Terrakion. EQ, do, over to, do a good amount of register. You can't do anything back to me. You can't poison me. You can't paralyze me. I'm behind the Sub. You ain't going to pop the Sub either. Um, also, I can live Kukudao's EQs and whatnot behind the Sub. I'm not going to, it's not going to pop the Sub. So EQ all the things when I get the chance. EQ everything behind the Sub. Unless we see a Shaman or a Leafeon. That's why we have Fire Fang. Also, if we go for a straight Fire Fang, you never know. I get that burn, I get that flinch. Who knows? If I have Spirit, you know, I like it. But if I get that burn, that is game changing. So we got Sub EQ, Slack Off, Fire Fang, Sand Force. I'm not going to win the Sand Shaman again because I don't want my, I, my team is a little frail this week. I don't want to make the HP even, even make them even more frail with the Sand being up. But uh, man, oh man, folks, do I love the idea of this Apatow. If it works out, I'm going to be the happiest kid alive. Which is a little, a, a little fun set. Um, I see this coming. Uh, but the sub, like I said, I gotta sub up. I'm gonna be hurt. I'm gonna be hurting something, man. I'm gonna get two EQs off on most things. And <coughs> excuse him, what? And um, Fire Fang for the burn chance and the grass Pokemon on your team as well if you bring those. But I feel like you're definitely bringing Shaman. You gotta bring Shaman. Shaman's so good against me this week. Choice Scarf Shaman is a lot of work. Even the Swallow. Like, I gotta watch out for that bad boy. And we got Sawk. We got Choice Scarf Sawk this week. Um,. I prepare. I expect Lee to bring a lot for Mega Zam, and I'm not bringing Mega Zam this week for, this, for that reason. Uh, you, get, you have a teeny scarf, Trakan scarf, Kukudao scarf. Uh, Registeel kind of walls it pretty well. I don't want to mess around with focus missing, focus blast missing. I don't want that at all. Uh, even Skunk Tank with Sucker Punch, uh, Pursuit, and whatnot. I'm just not gonna bring Zam at all this week. It's not really worth. I have no safe. If, uh, I really have nothing. Like, there's nothing really I can do with Zam this week either. I mean, I can Oko things like Trakan non scarf or Psychic. Uh, maybe I could focus play. I'll focus with Oko Crocodile, non scarf, but like those mods are just such good answers. You can pursue trap me, you can knock off a sucker punch with the with the skun tank, knock off with Crocodile. It's not good bringing with Mega Zam this week. So I have to go with Sock in your place instead. We got knock off close combat EQ, poison jab, poison jab fable, EQ for uh, things that resist close combat. Close combat's obvious, and knock off because hey, knock off a free item, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. What, um,. That's that, folks. That is that. That is that. And then, guys, I got a Weavile. I got a weird Weavile. Before I go into it, I know you guys are going to scream at me, fun of me, possibly. But this Weavile is weird, and I'll give you my logic in a bit. Like, actually, right now. We got Pursuit, Low Kick, Poison Jab, Ice Shard. No Oscar Crash. No knockoff. We are rocking an Adamant Nature. Because uh, Adamant Nature outspeed Victini and, and uh, Tarikion. Uh, Non-Scarfed by one point and a few points on Victini. Um... So looking at Leo's team, he's not gonna bring Single Lift. He's not gonna bring some Striker. He might not bring Leafion. Um, he's gonna bring Mega Blastoise. He could possibly bring Crocodile. Like, and if he does, it's gonna be Scarf. Turkey and probably be Scarfed as well. Like, he might bring a couple Scarfers this week to take down Weavile and Zam Speed. So, I'm not bringing Knockoff. I'm not bringing Astro Crash. What do those moves do for me? Like, who is Weavile gonna scare out on your team and force a switch against besides Victini? That's like not Scarfed, or even if it is Scarfed, it might attack me anyway. So like. If you get if I lock him to a bad move, then maybe, just maybe, I could scare that Victini away. But uh, what mod wants to was gonna get scared by Weavile? Clefable? Nope. Victini scarf? No way. Terrakion scarf? No way. Mega Blastoise? No. Does not give a damn about Weavile. Crocodile? No. 
Shaman, uh, maybe, but it's not likely. I, I don't think so. If you're dazzling, I'd probably drop dead. Registeel, no way you're scared of me. Drudagon, no way. Uh, maybe you would be scared of Drudagon because it's Icicle Crash and whatnot, but... You're gonna love it because you're gonna be a physical warlock and glare me and there goes my speed stat. Uh, Sigalith, you're not bringing in. Skuntank, you don't care. Like, there's no point of knockoff this week. There's none. I'm not outspeeding anything that I want to or as necessary. And I'm not gonna get, uh, any items knocked off that I want. And, like... If you just bring in Mega Blitzers every single time, I'm not just gonna do like 20%, 25% at most here. Uh, assuming you bring like a physical bulky one. And then, that's why I just have my moveset, Pursuit. You're gonna switch out on me. And if you I, if you do, it's for Victini, that's literally just for Victini. Um, if I maybe catch something else, you know, low HP or low enough to die to add my Pursuit. Uh, but I, I'm not bringing Knockoff at all. There's no, Knockoff does nothing. I'd rather have Low Kick to Oko to Raytheon. Uh, do a lot of damage to Crocodile, do a lot of damage to Registeel, overhead to Registeel. And that's that. Poison Jabs to get Solely Clefable and Ice Shard for Shaman and Leafeon if you get Speed Boost or Scarfed. Because like I said, Ice Crash, what does that do again for me? Maybe it does a decent amount to Clefable and Force a Flinch, but man, I don't want that miss. I don't want nothing. I'm bringing this weird Weavile for a reason. And if he kills Victini, I'm happy. He did his job. Like, if Rocks are up, I can't get rid of them. And Weavile second damage from Rocks and like, is like, I, I, like half health. Like, I get, I get, I'm not, I'm, I, there's no reason the Weavile's gonna be on the field any longer. Like, I'm gonna get a one and done with Weavile. Like, Weavile's gonna come in once, get rock damage most likely, if I don't get the rocks off the field, and then he's gonna drop dead once he kills him on. He's basically a one for one this week. Like, I have no control. I literally have no control, I don't think, with the team you have right now. Like, uh, it's, it's, it's tough. It is a tough match. I didn't wanna bring Weavile, but I don't wanna bring Shandy, because Shandy gets outsped, uh, Pursuit Trap, Knock Off, uh, Sucker Punch, all that stuff again, as well. Kingo can't do nothing this week. And uh, Ramparos is kind of ad this week. So this is the six I chose. Hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. As always, I'm Nips. Love your faces. Have a great day. And now I'll see you Saturday for the battle against Leo. And oh man, folks, it's one you want to watch. So have a good have a good day, guys. Catch you later, and I'll see you then.